What's going on anime fans? Welcome to the Anime Corner. I'm Matt the Rambling Giant and today we're going to go over some of my favorite Isekai anime series. But before we do that, if you could like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel, that'd be wicked pissed because I could definitely use the support. With that being said, let's start off at number three on my top three Isekai list and that is Knights and Magic. I gotta say I love this series. Especially with the main protagonist, Ernesty E. Chevalier. He's a little 12-year-old boy that dwells a 40-year-old man's soul inside because he was reborn. <laughs> so he's reborn with all this knowledge and pretty much revolutionizes the silhouette gear world and becomes an industrial power that could be a force to be reckoned with. Matched with his unparalleled magic skills makes for one awesome character. I mean, look at his silhouette gear. It, no one else can even compare to what he is capable of doing. He has the power of at least a hundred silhouette knights all together at once. <laughs> Especially since he has the behemoth heart and the queen's coronet as battery packs for his silhouette gear. I mean, seriously. And that's why it's number three on my list. Now let's move on to number two. And number two is that time I got reincarnated as a slime. And I have to say, this is an amazing show by itself. I love how this guy gets reincarnated as a slime and then meets up with a giant dragon that he befriends and absorbs and gets a stupid amount of power and eventually becomes the king of all the monsters in the forest. Literally made a kingdom for himself. All while absorbing numerous monsters abilities and becoming obscenely strong. I mean, look, he's unaffected by pretty much everything. <laughs> I love their reaction when they see him walking out of the fire. They're like, oh, shit, fire immunity. Oh, then he takes his mask of suppression off, and then all of his magic power is pouring out. And they're like, oh, shit, what did we just get into? ruh <laughs> Now that's a force to be reckoned with. Yep, and that's why he's number two on my list. Finally making its way to number one, Overlord. And this show is amazing. I mean, it literally checks all the boxes for me. The Dungeons and Dragons theme, the magic, the fantasy, the isekai, the obscene power. I love it all. It's absolutely amazing. And I love how he goes from being Momonga and then changes his name to Einzul Gon, the name of his guild, just to spread the word to see if there's any other players in this new world of his. And he's also labeled the strongest magic caster in the form of a skeleton. <laughs> How funny is that? So pretty much Paired with his unparalleled magic capabilities and his summoning skills makes for one scary opponent. And that's not even including all the NPCs and floor guardians that are all loyal to death to Einzul Gon or Momonga. And add on top of that, all the world items he has in his possession, which can literally change the very fabric of the world uh, just mind-boggling how much power this guy is sitting on and that is why this is my favorite anime of all time hands down 
I cannot wait until season four comes out because this show kicks ass and takes names. And that's why it's number one on my East Kai list. Mwah, magic. With all that being said, I thoroughly enjoyed sharing this with you. I hope you enjoyed it too. With that being said, I'm Matt the Ramblin' Giant. I'm over and out. Thank you.